Now you can see that I've drawn the diagram that we're given and we have the particles P and Q, mass 0.5 kilograms and Q with a mass of m kilograms. Now I'm going to put on here some further information. We're told that originally it started at rest, that's P started at rest, so I'm going to mark that downwards V as being zero meters per second there and the time that it took for P to reach the ground was one half second. So when we got here, when P was here in this position, let's just mark it in like that, pretend that it's there, T equaled 1.5 seconds. So in order to find the acceleration of P as it moves the 3.15 meters, what I'm going to do in part A then is to consider the SUVAT type equation. Okay, what do I know? I know that S, if I take downwards as being positive, remember S is not distance but displacement. So the displacement downwards would be 3.15 meters. I know that U, the original initial velocity, was 0 meters per second. I know the time taken, T, is 1.5 seconds and I'm trying to find out A. So the equation that I'm going to use that connects these together is S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Now S we know is 3.15, so we've got therefore 3.15 equals u, which is 0, 0 times t, 0 times 1.5 here, that's going to be 0. Then we've got this term, which is going to be a half of a multiplied by t squared. t is 1.5 seconds, so that's 1.5 squared. And if I rearrange this to make A the subject by multiplying both sides by 2, that will give me 2 multiplied by 3.15. That would leave me with 1.5 squared multiplied by A. And dividing by 1.5 squared to both sides leaves me with A equaling 2 lots of 3.15 divided by 1.5 squared. Working that out on the calculator leaves me with an acceleration A of 2.8 meters per second per second. And that is what we had to prove in part A. And that brings us now to the end of part A.